All right, guys, I thought I'd start doing a little more vlogging because I figure, you know, why not? So I'm in my house. It's really not well lit because half of my lights, my light bulbs have gone out and I, I know how to change them, but a lot of them are the ones in the ceiling and it's just, I'm too lazy. I'll be honest with you, I'm just too lazy. So it's just a nice mood lighting in here right now, which is great. That's what we want, right? First day of Chargers mini camp today. I gotta tell you, it was interesting only in the sense there was a lot of media, and I'm not gonna harp on this for a long, a, a much longer because we just need to get used to the fact that it's different this year. There's a lot of media, lots of people you don't know, lots of people I've never seen, lots of people asking like questions to Manti Teo because it was his first day that he was allowed to talk since being signed and talking at rookie rookie camp about a month ago. So normally for Chargers mini camp, because I've been part of four now, this is my fifth year, normally there's a media contingency of about that, okay? That doesn't look like a lot, but that's about what it is. This year, it was like that. It was a lot. There was a lot of media. It was all up and down the field. Here's Manti Teo with his spiky hair. And he's not saying much, because what does he have to say? Okay, no one's going to get any kind of special answer out of him right now. He's very conditioned. He's a well-spoken guy. He knows how to answer questions. I don't believe there was any reason to shelter this guy, because he can hold his own. But he's already well-versed in how to handle media saying things like one day at a time and I'm just trying to do the best thing for my football team and whatever I need to do for my teammates and that whole thing. He's, he's already good at this. He's got this down. He did talk a lot about what it's like to go against Antonio Gates in practice and that's actually where you saw the most emotion from Manti Teo today when he talked about that, which was pretty cool, you know, acknowledging that Gates is just that good and I know there's been some knock on Gates getting up there in years maybe, but Gates is that good in practice that you could see Manti's face completely change when he started to talk about what it's like to go against Antonio Gates in practice. So that was positive. Also talked about, and you're going to hear this phrase a lot. I'm going to write it down for you. Keep, here, can you see it? Keep the main thing. Keep the main thing, the main thing. I know you guys like my, my handwriting. Okay, now I bring this up because I did a, can you even read that Does that with Manti up top? Can you even see that? Okay, keep the main thing the main thing. I bring that up because I did an interview with John Pagano about uh, two weeks ago and I know for a fact that is John Pagano's thing this year. It's his thing this season. You know, coaches always have a slogan for the season. Keep the main thing the main thing. So think about that, take that to bed with you, ponder on that a little, but you heard Manti say that a lot today, and it applies to no one probably better than it applies to him. Forget about all the distractions, keep the main thing the main thing, which is, of course, I don't know, football, practice, working hard, your teammates, winning the championship, that whole thing. Other than that, pretty dry day, uh, Derek Cox not working out. Now, this is the guy that came in to replace Antoine Quezon, really. The Chargers paid him a lot of money. He's had a little injury stuff in the past and injury history. So a little disconcerting, but it's it's still, you know, June, so not anything to really be too up in arms about, I guess. Philip Rivers talked. He also made fun of the media for being here for Manti Teo, which was awesome. Uh, Mike McCoy with the usual team look good. We're going to put the best 53 guys on the field. That sort of thing. I'm trying to see if, uh, you know, Mike McCoy did say, he did say Philip Rivers will have a great year, and he said it like this. Philip Rivers is going to have a great year, no doubt about it. Very confident Mike McCoy is that Philip Rivers will have a great year, so that should make you guys happy. Also head over, I went over to Padres today, and I know you guys heard the news, or if you haven't, Cam Maben out for six weeks. Tough blow for this guy. I don't know what to say. You know, you get signed that big contract. You don't really have the year that you want last year. And then this year, you're already injured most of the year, most of the season. You're going to be out at least another six weeks because he tore a ligament in his knee. So just a tough break for the Padres. But 
Kyle Blanks is playing well, and so is Logan Forsythe. Got called up for Jed Jerko's, take Jed Jerko's place. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to give you guys, you know, for every bad piece of news, I'm giving you a good piece of news. All right, that's it. I think I'm going to do these more often. Send me suggestions. Tweet me suggestions. And also tweet me questions if you want to see some of your questions answered via vlog. I will do that for you. Second day of minicamp tomorrow. I'll report back then. Thanks for watching.